they don't find the back of the net, it tends to come back and bite you later on. And I think that's what happened tonight. I, I Pope did a good job of uh, limiting our chances as the game went along. We didn't get many shots in the third period. And you know, hockey's a funny game, right? It's just often comes down to inches and, and mistakes. And I wanted it up in the back of our, end, our net tonight. And, Ultimately decided the game. When you look at 15 shots in the first and then 12 or whatever it was the rest of the way, was it something that Pope changed to get in those passing lanes? Or did you feel like you guys maybe weren't crisp? I just think we we're trying to be maybe a little bit too perfect. Uh, instead of just putting pucks on net, going to the net, we're looking for that perfect shot. Um, I thought in the neutral zone we got a little bit too uh, pretty instead of just get it in and get the work. So I, yeah, I. You know, you get a talented hockey team and they want to they want to play hockey a skillful way. Sometimes it's hard to change those habits um, in a game like this. And, you know, if it were a high-scoring game, that's how the game would be played. But we knew it would come down to a goal, so that's why it's frustrating um, you know, that we didn't do a better job of getting pucks to the net and playing a little different style. But part of that comes from a team like Pope's ability to, to limit time and space, whereas, you know, you I could mean, probably count on one hand the number of teams that are talented enough to limit your time and yeah, space. I mean, there's no question. Ari Pope is two losses or 19 wins on the year, uh, 20 down, right? So I think we knew they were a really talented hockey team. And they move the puck well, they get strong D, right? We knew it was going to be a challenge. Um, this is the semifinal to go to the Garden, right? So it's not supposed to be easy. And, you know, it, it's hurtful to lose. I have such a tremendous group of kids in that locker room uh, that have accomplished so much, right? That's, that's our message to them is uh, incredible journey uh, for the seniors. Uh, all those seniors last year won 22 games. Those seniors won 20 games this year. Uh, they won a state title at the Garden. They have rings. And there's a lot to be thankful for. And then for me as a coach, it's about already, you know, maybe not this moment, but starting to get ready for next year. Did they do anything, Christian, uh, or, or should I say, how did your guys react? Uh, I haven't seen too many teams play you face-to-face -face defensively like that. Their gap control seemed to be really I mean, tight after that first period. They're a skilled hockey team that skate as well as us. Um, and, you know, that's oftentimes maybe an advantage that we have in games is we're a strong skating team that's quick. and. Uh, they were too. So you just, you really knew it was going to come down to one goal. And, uh, so it's a shame that we didn't get it for us. I think it's going to be lost in the overall picture here, but I thought Brian had an excellent game. I thought, Brian, I thought Brian played great. So. Um, uh, he was strong all game, and the goal that he ended up giving up is a turnover by us right around the net. Uh, I thought Brian was great. You certainly can't fault the goaltending when he gives up one goal. So. When you guys play with the puck so often, right, on the back end, the front end, so much possession, are there adjustments you have to make as a coach in a game where the possession's maybe going to be a little more 50-50? Well, I mean, I just felt like we held onto the puck maybe a little too long instead of getting it to the net a little bit quicker or trying to get to the net. Um, you know, that, that's, why, that's where I feel like we uh, weren't as good as I would have liked today, is getting to the net trying to bang in rebounds and get a dirty goal. We're trying to be too perfect. Um, yeah. How do you differentiate among the periods? First period, second period, third period, and so on? In terms of? Well, in terms of, you, you know, your your play overall, you know. Yeah, well, I mean, I thought we had a great first period, put 15 yeah. shots on that. I, I thought we got in kind of a lull in the second period, and that's probably a credit to Pope Francis for playing us strong. Um, you know, both teams had great opportunities during the game. Um, as the game went along, both teams had fewer opportunities because you knew it was going to be a one-goal game. So guys get back on their heels a little bit and you stop playing a certain style when it's 0-0 for so long. Um, you know, like I kind of alluded to earlier, if, if both teams had scored two or three early, um, the game would have been entirely different. But, uh, you know, that's probably, you know, that's not really the style of game we want to play, but uh, I think we've proven over the last couple of years we're capable of playing any style. Christian, what did you say during the timeout when you took it? We were here last year, right? So we just tried to draw up a play, uh, kind of plan what our next move was going to be, talk about when we are going to pull the goalie, and, and most importantly, just try to get pucks to the net, which uh, I just, I don't think we did a good job at the end of the game. But nothing, I don't want to take any away from Pope Francis or our kids, right? They had an amazing year with 20 wins, uh, and a lot of those kids have a ring, so, you know. Yeah. I know we got here late, but, you know, just want to ask you thoughts on the season as a whole. It's a, it's a, 
entertainment. It's a journey, right? And it starts back in November, and for you can go deeper than that. It starts when these kids arrive at St. John's, and we try to develop a certain culture. Um, I'm proud to say that we did that. I love those kids in that locker room. They gave us everything they had. They left it all on the ice, accomplished a ton. So credit to, to them. And you know what? Next Sunday, one of these teams that wins today is going to lose and have this same feeling. It is not easy to win. With how many offensive opportunities there were early and nobody was breaking through, yep. it kind of felt fitting that it would just be a slow little trick to go. Yeah, I mean, that's hockey, right? Hockey is its a game of turnovers, it's a game of mistakes. Uh, that's why you put as many parts to the net as you can because you just never know which one's going to end up in the back of the net. I know you talked about your senior class, but can you just touch on the four captains and what they meant this season? I mean, they're amazing kids. Jimmy Ayers, Cole Blazer, uh, Will Van Sicklin, Aiden Holland, uh, all state champions. Uh, some of those guys won it in the cross a couple times too. So it's an amazing group. Um, they have showed loyalty to St. John's in a time when a lot of kids are maybe not sticking around. Um, and I bet you could ask every one of them. They are. Uh, more than satisfied and thrilled with their decision to stay here. And we are too. Thank you, Christian.